All right, now we are all ready to start our MIDI mapping. Uh, but before that, let's check pack an instance in this copy notes. So I have my MIDI device connected. Uh, I'm using the Coral Nano Control 2 for this one. Uh, so if you don't have it connected, if you just connected it, you might want to restart Houdini and make sure that you installed all the MIDI drivers and the MIDI mapping software that usually comes with your device. So let's create a CHOP network. CHOP stands for a channel operator. Let's rename it to MIDI mapping. And let's go inside. Let's create not MIDI in. And in MIDI source, let's choose our device. This is my device. So if everything is installed correctly, it should appear here. So let's check that echo messages to text port uh, so we can see the communication. And another very important part is to set up this export flag here, otherwise uh, it won't work. All right, now we can go to our motion effects view and set up visibility flag. Here are our channels. So here am I uh, operating the sliders of my device and I can see the communication is happening here in the console. It still doesn't show up here in the motion effects view and we're going to fix that in a moment. So let's set up a MIDI channel to one. And here it is, I found it. It's currently very slow and laggy because this Houdini console is interfering with our performance. But basically, I know what slider is responsible for this channel. So let's set up control. Let's go to control here. And let's put controller index from 0 to, let's say, um, 25. So this number will depend on our parameters and also on your particular model of uh, MIDI device. So in our asset, we have more than 50 parameters, uh, probably even more if you count uh, additional points on the ramp. But I think 25 parameters is a good number to start mapping. And uh, I have a sufficient number of uh, sliders and knobs on my device to allow that. So here are my 25 uh, channels. Now we can go back to source and disable our echo messages because it's annoying and uh, interfering with our performance. So now let's try to set up our workspace and make it more comfortable. And for that, let's split this uh, pane left to right. And let's go to the parameter view here. And over here, let's go to the vine. And let's pin it. Okay, so now we have all the vine parameters here uh, ready for the mapping. And for this one, we also want to see some motion effects. So let's split this pane top to bottom and let's uh, show motion effects here. Okay, so how do we map the parameters? Let's create a node rename here. Let's connect it uh, here in the drop down menu. Let's select our uh, channel one control zero. Let's remove this asterisk. And here we can rename it to the parameter that we need to map. So I want to map this uh, value of this particular point. So we'll see immediately if it's working. So I can just drag and drop this value here as an absolute channel reference and then get rid of the asterisk and the brackets like this. So we just need a path in here. Let's turn on the export flag on our rename node and I can already see it's working. So I am currently uh, manipulating my very first slider on my MIDI device and it's working. So it maps from zero to one. So how do we map another uh, parameter, for example, this point? Very easy, so we can uh, copy and paste this channel name 
for one and then we can copy and paste this uh, path here and just change the value to what is it value tree yeah curve tree value so and now as you can see here both of my channels uh, both of my sliders are working as you can see this is not a very comfortable setup to work with in the next video we will learn more about how to improve this setup